one Honda TLM 200R not been started for I don't know two years maybe uh, I've just gassed the tank back up give me a bit of tissue please love and um, the seals dried out in the tank but it will probably reseal itself Yeah, it looks like he's stopping already actually. So once it gets a bit of ethanol in there, it'll swell back up again and it'll stop dripping otherwise. There she is. Would you like to hold that a minute? Stay away from the left of the running double oil but I always do that with any two stroke I haven't started for a while just as a belt and braces thing make sure it's getting lubrication so uh, yeah there you go one TLM 200 and uh, next door down here in this box uh, is uh, the crap that was on it when we bought it uh, the full wiring loom. There's the switch gear. There's the original Speedo, which says 21,000. Uh, that's an aftermarket tail light. We've got a couple of the original indicators, the flashy unit and all that lot. And so, all you internet experts, giving it. No, I can buy one of those for 15,000 baht. Yeah. You can buy these bikes, there are a few of them about. And they're all the same age. They're all mid-80s. And they've all got rubber, exactly the same age as this here. So, they'll all have the inlet manifold covered in gasket glue because it's absolutely foobard. Whereas, oh, I bought all new rubber from Japan. Oh, that can go back on actually. I didn't realise that was off. I've also changed every single fork bush. And obviously the seals. Here's the air intake rubber. That is rock hard, like a brick. Look at it. I am squeezing, like there's no tomorrow. That is as hard as PVC. I've changed that. I've changed out a load of stuff. The uh, oil tank was effed right up. These were the original foot pegs. Now, as you can see, they'll fit like an Asian size 2 shoe. Well, I've changed them for brand new CRF foot pegs, which is a modification that everybody does to these bikes. So we've done that. And I even bought a spare frame and a swinging arm because this frame, sorry, this swinging arm had a ganky great dent in it. There it is. See, had an ugly great dent in it. So I bought a complete frame and a swinging arm. So, all in all, this is not a lashed up piece of crap like all the other ones on there that you see that are about 10,000 baht less than what I'm asking. So you either buy it or I keep looking at it. Up to you.